Bonjour, I should have had lightning at Alice. Welcome everyone to a post Xenoblade French presentation, which I may or may not have a hankering for those Frenchmen. That was poorly said, oh my god. <laughs> I was going to say, how about that French presentation? Let's quickly gloss over what I just said. Anyway, what is up and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3 News Drops. This show, which may or may not include French people. And a cowboy. <laughs> what am I saying today? Anyway, let's get into the news before I say anything else weird, questionable or... Yeah. Anyway, let's get to it here. You can. Sh uh, this is courtesy of Monolith of Japan, and it's as follows. I can also change the appearance of the six numbers. <laughs> Meme that will never go away because the Google <laughs> Translate is terrible. From the main menu, class equipment fashion will be lifted when the class rank rises to a certain level. So, if you have a class equipment you want to wear, it's a good idea to continue using that class for a long time. And of course, as I would guess, fashion gear is coming back. Now, I'm in two minds about this one, because one, I am excited, yet two, I am disappointed, because one, yeah, sure, you can mix and match attires, cool, great, love it, but it's not to the extent in which the original Xenoblade is, and not to how Xenoblade X does it. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't mix and match between, like, hey, I want a shirtless Noah, but I also want him to have, like, heavy armor on the leggings. <laughs> or I want to give Ricky a stupid hat. <laughs> But sadly, no, it's not the case, you just get the class attires, which, in all honesty, I think if that's the case, it's going to look weird if I have, say, Mio having Noah's jacket on. Mm -hmm. So, on a surface level, I'm going to be kind of inclined to keep them default, which in some ways is a little bit dull. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, know. That's what 2 did. I know. It did the DLC, so we'll have to see. I, again, yes, I know, but still, I just... I want to have more customization, and I find it very weird how, with all of the customization you can have in your in your setups, where whether it's your combat, your palette, or, or your food, you know, I just find it weird how fashion takes a back seat. But hey, as the old saying goes, looks ain't everything, and I think that's a, a tried and true thing here. Uni looks like Rex. Yeah, ah! yeah. I think this class is maybe based on Rex because you got the blue top, you got the backpack on there. If you, you've even got the thing on the arm where the anchor chain would be, mm -hmm. or, or the anchor shot, should say. But still, though, uh, I'd love to know what you guys think. Are you happy with this, or do you wish it was kind of more in tune with the original? But anyway, though, on to the next one, and to one of our main pieces of today, which is a new hero, technically one we've seen before, but this is the first bit of insight we've got on him. And it's as follows. One of the heroes, Grey, the class is Full Metal Jaguar, attacker, and it attacks a wide area with equipment called a two-handled pistol. And a flap. I'm going to be very disappointed if Full Metal Jaguar doesn't become, like, story significant in any way. Because, for those of you who don't know, Full Metal Jaguar is actually a pretty big thing in Xenoblade, as in Xenoblade X, because it is the class in which the main character, Elmer, uses. And if Elmer is the main character, you can't tell me otherwise. Yeah. Cross was non-existent. But hey, I digress, so hopefully, as you say, it'll come... Hopefully be like a nice easter egg or the full metal jaguar. It's been an art style that has been passed down generations through alien technology. It, it kind of looks, it also kind of looks like he has a pack of sodas on his side. <laughs> <laughs> Look man, I gotta keep myself hydrated. This heat wave, <laughs> you, you gotta. <sighs> now for me, <laughs> I'm a sucker for this kind of design because it works well with... If you didn't see what voice he has in one of the latest trailers... Oh my god, this guy is gun Batman. Yeah. It's like, I'm Grey, and I am the Batman. I am the gun of the night. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is going to be either stupidly fun to watch in terms of cutscenes, or stupidly fun to play, because attacker, my type of style, so who knows? Maybe he'll be fun to watch. Oh no, I could definitely see Minoff vibes from this guy. Yeah. But, hey ho, 
And of course, with these kind of hero updates, I always get X extra screenshots and a bit of description. Grey is also a craftsman hero who attacks become more sophisticated the more he hits the enemy. So, is it akin to like, ah, uh, at first I shoot one, one shot, and then I shoot two. My third is all over the place! <laughs> it is Violent streak. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. <laughs> It is kind of intriguing on how exactly that is going to be put in into play, but still though, the fact that it's a different place on than what what we've seen, a long range attacker, and you know what? I'll always love myself a bit of a long range attacker. Yeah, it'll sound weird coming from me, but I'm always I'm not going to say no to Morgan users in Xenoblade. Absolutely not, because Elma. <laughs> and when you talk about Uni, she has a gun. It's also a Healy stick. <laughs> But, uh, but of course, you also get a 30 second clip inducing how Grey interacts with the party and it says here, Grey seems to have suddenly attacked Noah and his friends. I'm worried that my right eye is covered with an eye patch. Monopon, did something happen? <laughs> Has Monopon hurt an eye? Oh God! <laughs> no! Mono pirate, no! <laughs> Makes me wonder if that comment applies to Vandom too. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my god, do you think Grey and Vandom are brothers? Hmm. <laughs> Vandom, I hit people with fist. Grey, I shoot people with gun. <laughs> It'd be a nice contrast, I'll say this, but anyway, let's get to the clip. We'll show it once, and then second time over, we will talk over it. I'm a man of little words. Noah sounded like Link when he attacked. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, <sighs> Monolith is helping out with Breath of the Wild too, so maybe things have crossed paths, but who knows. But, but uh, the one thing I want to get into here, I just love how when Grey attacks, everyone has different methods of dodging gunfire. Of course, Lance, you're using a shield. Uni's just ducking. <laughs> and Mio just stepping back. And Tyon's using a, the Mondo shield. <laughs> the, the paper shield, as it were. Yeah. I just, love, I just love how Mio just steps back from the gunfire as if that's going to do anything else. <laughs> oh no, the gunfire has little range. Yeah. It said no one ever. Yeah, that sounds just like Link. <laughs> you never know. You, ne you never know. But still. <laughs> and of course, Grace seems like a no-nonsense guy, so it would definitely be nice to uh, see to see what role he has. End the game. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that is another style of combat and a new character to look forward to ish. New character ish. But hey guys, what did you think of today's video? Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, as always, if, if like we see here, please be sure to like the video. It very much helps out the channel. And uh, if you want to stay up to date with more Xenoblade news, whether it is trailers, screenshots, or actual presentations from Frenchmen, then please do subscribe to see more. And we'll see you next time, which who knows? Might get a new hero. Might see more. Who knows? But until then, I've been Lightning. I'm Alice. And we'll see you next time. Later.